Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to kind of continue our series in reseller life. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, as you can see around me, there's a whole lot of ugly. I got a lot of merchandise. We've got so much inventory right now. We are kind of bursting at the seams. Um, the biggest problem is, is that we live in a house that's about a thousand square feet. Might be just a little bit bigger than that, not much. Um, my garage is packed, as you saw if you watched the last video. The garage is pretty packed. And, um... Sorry about that. If you can hear that, that's my dog. She has this thing where she likes to clean her feet and everything else while I'm on video. Um, anyhow, so where was I? So, um, so if you watched the last video, you saw that we have a ton of inventory, and then we went and picked up everything from the auction on Sunday, and we have now added that much more to everything. I mean, it's like, whoo. Yeah, so we're definitely bursting at the seams. I have a lot of stuff I need to process and get onto um, eBay because that's where we mostly sell um, online is through eBay. We also do live sales on Facebook. We do have a Facebook group, so if anyone's um, interested in that, uh, where we re do our resell there as well. Um, what else? Oh, and then of course we have our um, booth and um, shelf in the cabinet at the antique mall. So, those are pretty much primarily where we sell from. And then we do have a few things on like Facebook Marketplace. Things are probably too heavy for shipping and it's just easier to kind of move them that way. Um, but today, I am going to be creating a more permanent shipping station for myself. We have had a huge increase in eBay sales and online sales. And so, um, I need to get something a little more permanent because right now, where I'm at is pretty much, I have a, a basket and, um, you know, kind of like a, a desk organizer, if you will. Um, these are both from Learner and uh, they're vintage. And of course, I thrifted them, but as you can see, so this is actually from our last pickup. They were in some, some paper money from like China or something. I don't know. But anyhow, the thank you cards I put in all of the online orders that we get. there, And then with every order, when someone purchases something from our shop, um, I send them a vintage postcard with like a little stamp on it and everything. So anyway, that's kind of the deal. And I use tissue paper. I have thank you stickers that I put on everything. So it's just one of those things where I need to get it more permanent so that it's not just in the middle of my home. Um, that being said, it's definitely um, time to kind of do some rearranging back there as well because that's where my milk glass overflow cabinet is. I say overflow, it's like overflowing with all kinds of other stuff. But I'm also gonna be moving my Tiki Bar um, collection from where it's at above Roger's decanters and moving that over there as well. And then I have this gorgeous um, wooden shadow box from the Philippines that's going to hold some of my tea items. So that'll be fun. I'm going to stick that over there as well. And then this card that we got um, actually from the Porter House. Again, if you saw my first video, my other video, uh, my last one, that'll make more sense. But uh, we were going to use that in the shop for something. I think that's going to become my um, shipping station because it's on casters, and then if I need to move it anywhere, I can, but everything will fit on there, I think. So, um, a lot planned for today, tons of stuff to get done, so I'm gonna bring you along with me, and hopefully it's not too terribly boring. Hopefully you like <sighs> disaster cleanups, because it's kind of a disaster, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of crazy, it's, <sighs> it's a lot, truthfully. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so right now you're just going to watch me basically empty out the living room. There was so much stuff in our living room that this basically took forever. And we had been basically anything that came into the house, we were using our living room as a sorting point 
to kind of determine whether or not it was going to be an online item, a shop item, or an auction item. And yeah, it just got to the point where it was just, there was just too much. So that's what you're going to watch here is I'm just emptying out the living room. Okay, so once I got the cart out of the middle of the living room, um, I went and picked up a few more things, and then you'll see me vacuum here in just a second. I am a sucker for vacuum cleaner lines. I love it. And of course, I've got my camera angled, so you can't even see anything. It's awesome. Hopefully, I get better with these videos. I can't say I've ever thought to really want to record myself cleaning anything, but I thought this would be helpful. Hopefully, you guys um, don't mind that it's kind of... I don't know. Special. Okay, so now I'm tackling the area behind the couch. And, yeah, we had... I could not believe the amount of stuff that we had managed to, like, stick everywhere in this house. Oh, I just keep telling myself it's money. It's money, because it's all inventory, so it's all money. And money is a good thing. Okay, so this is the area behind our sofa that I had kind of... At one point in time, it was kind of my little crafty area, and this is where I actually want to put my uh, mailing station, my mailing and packing station, so I had to get all this stuff out of there and at least get it somewhat organized. It's just crazy how much stuff that there is, and I'm moving all those boxes that you see. Those are the ones I was telling you um, in the other video. Those are all ornaments, and it's like crazy how much stuff there really is, but I'm slowly getting through it, which is a good thing. Okay, so once I got everything pulled out from behind the couch, it was time to vacuum, and let me tell you, that is not my best angle ever. In the history of angles, it is not my best angle. So, um, I'm just tidying up a few things that are on top of the table in there, and moving things out. And then I'll be ready to start putting together my mailing station. As you can see, we are making a lot of progress. We're getting the table cleared off. I'm using my method cleaner. And sorry, animals. Oh, the fur babies, the fur babies. So I'm gonna do some dusting back here. Um, that is not the same towel that I was using on dusting that I just used on my face, just so we're aware. I love the curtains some more because you can never have too much light vacuum again because you can never vacuum enough either when you're dusting and cleaning. All right, so now I've got the cabinet, did my little dancey dance. I like listening to music while I'm cleaning or cleaning videos just so I can actually kind of stay motivated. I really enjoy those. And then here we're getting ready to start planning how I'm going to create my uh, tiki experience behind the sofa. And I love tiki things. I can't wait to have our uh, forever home because we are definitely having a tiki bar. Okay, so still cleaning, still using a different cloth to wipe off my face because I am sweating. Oh my goodness. It has been um, a while since I was actually able to dust over here just because of the nature of like how much stuff we had kind of piled into that, sec that area and it was really hard to get to. And my husband has this thing for lamps. He's literally been buying up so many lamps and I'm not sure why, but he really likes lamps. So there you go. All right. Um, 
Moving right along, getting everything dusted, dusting off the safe. And I am moving all the lamps off of every flat surface that's there behind there. Um, so yeah, so that's a good thing, right? Okay, so I slowed this bit here down because I just really wanted you to see this um, flag my husband made for me. My father passed away when I was three and his flag is actually flying at the cemetery where he's buried in California. So I don't have my dad's flag. And so my husband made a flag for me. And, um, and then on the front of the flag, it says never forgotten. And it means a lot to me. Okay. So finish dusting off the top of the safe moving everything else and whew, it was very hot that day so yeah the hair got even higher and my husband actually made that flag that i just set down there as well he's actually a very talented woodworker so i'm actually very lucky because he can fix anything and he's very handy so hung the um shadow box and realized it is not tall enough so, I had to hang it even higher. I had to go and actually find something to get the nail out of the wall that it was hung up with and to remove all the other nails from the wall. And then I hung that as high as I could possibly reach. And let me tell you, I am not terribly short, but I did not feel terribly tall at that moment. I'm just saying. Alrighty, so got that part done. And now I realize I am again vertically challenged. For hanging my husband's flag and that was just me showing you his flag and there you can see it in the background it is so pretty he did such a good job it's actually individual slats of wood so and then he bevels it and everything he does a really great job we actually used to sell them on Etsy um, okay so there's that and now I'm just hanging more stuff because I like to put holes in walls it's kind of a hobby I guess and there is Haggard with his squeaky duck again have them run after that. Okay, so continuing to add nails to the wall because that's what I do. I decided that would be a good spot to hang my cutting mats and it worked out pretty well, I think, because now I've got spaces to hang all my other stuff on the wall because, yeah, holes happen and I apparently like to help create holes. So now I am just putting the lamps on my husband's safe since he really seems to have a thing for lamps so yeah okay so if you remember what it looked like before of course i have jaw breakers in my mouth now i've actually managed to get quite a bit of it done it's still not totally done and i still have my living room to put back together but i have a feeling that today this is probably gonna be all i get done right now I did get everything in the tiki bar moved over okay so with everything moved over for the tiki bar um, as you can see there I've got some more room in that cabinet and there were some plates that I wasn't able to fit into the tiki bar area but that's okay over there is my cutting mats I have my printer station with my laptop I love those milk glass um, cream and sugar and someday when I have my dinette set that is totally going up there down there at the bottom you can see all my vintagey type dishes and stuff and some of my bunnies because I may have mentioned before I have a thing for bunny rabbits um, I love all the tiki's I'm not even 100% sure why I just really really want a tiki bar and my husband is a Red Wings fan he's from Michigan so, I just think it's so much fun. And that beautiful Japanese oil painting, my tiki mask. And then over here I have my mail station. This is where I have all my stamps and postcards and everything. That picture ends up going above my husband's um, decanter collection later. But as you can see right there. All my stuff is organized. I know where everything is and it's within um, my reach while I'm sitting at the desk. Those lamps are actually going on a live sale. That's why they're sitting there. All those items there are for a live sale. 
So there is Hagrid, and then you'll see Sadie Sue and my packing peanuts. And then as we go up to the little table, you'll see my collection of tissue paper. Thank you guys so much again for being here. If you like these kinds of videos and you kind of like the whole idea of um, the life of a reseller, let me know down below. Like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. I really appreciate it. Um, I do want to kind of continue the series. I think it's interesting. I don't think there's a lot out there right now of what it's truly like to be a reseller and when you're just starting out in your business. Um, we haven't been doing this for terribly long and so I feel like you know there's a lot of growing pains of course with that um, but I feel like it's definitely something that we can all do together and so if you'd like to see um, how that goes please let me know and um, thanks so much. Um, stay safe and stay blessed and remember to collect what you love. Thanks so much. Bye.